Ladies and gentlemen, what is about to occur this spring has never happened on this planet. There's going to be trillions of cicadas emerging, two different broods together, brood 13 and 17 are emerging together. It's already being seen in parts of Oklahoma. Now, when was the last time two broods of cicadas emerged out of the ground at the same time? It was 1803 and Thomas Jefferson was the president of the United States at that time. And where did they appear in the country? They were seen in Wisconsin, Iowa, and Illinois back then. So it was mainly in the Midwest and they said also parts of the Southeast. Now, here's the only thing about that particular situation. They didn't know what they were. It was recorded, but they recorded these insects as locusts. More than likely, they didn't see these before, but they were labeled as locusts. But they're already seeing the holes in the ground that they have emerged from, and it's going to be a big year. Can you imagine how loud these things are going to be when they come out of the ground? Of them? It's going to be loud. It's going to be loud. All right, so I did also look up what states were going to see these um, cicadas. Which states will see them? Well, let me show you on the map. Okay, so everyone will not see these cicadas. So you will see them if you are in certain locations. And this is the map. Now, where I am, we're going to see brood two. And you can see the color chart on the side. And it's mainly going to be in the Northeast and the Midwest trillions. I mean, I can't even picture that many cicadas. <laughs> it's hard to even imagine that many all at once. So here are the states that they are talking about that will see these two broods together. So it will be Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, North Carolina, Oklahoma is reporting um, sightings of them already, South Carolina, Tennessee, Wisconsin, and Virginia. And they are anticipating a big chunk of them emerging during the eclipse. That's what they're saying, that a lot of people are going to see them right after the eclipse. And on that same day, they are expecting a big, big chunk of them. And um, they're saying these two broods coming out together is unprecedented. And it really, truly is. So the good thing about cicadas, they really don't do much to you if you're a human. And even if you have pets, your pets will be okay if they go out and there's a lot of them around. They really don't do much to you. The good part is it's said that cicadas do not carry disease. They don't bite. 
and they don't sting, especially humans. And they cannot be controlled with pesticides. They're like those lantern flies. You know, it doesn't matter what pesticides you use on them. It's really pretty ineffective. So you're going to see a lot of their carcasses all over the place, being that there's going to be trillions. So they're letting people know that you're going to hear a lot of loud sounds from spring to early summer, and you're going to see a lot of their um, shells that they shed from, and you're going to see a lot of their carcasses on sidewalks, driveways, roads. They're going to be all over your lawn and trees. They're going to be everywhere with trillions. Yeah. Now, they can be harmful if you got pretty young trees in your yard. Yeah, you know, they may be snacking on your tree, especially young trees, and they're also very attracted to fruit trees. So if you have those in your yard and you're in one of these areas, chances are you may be seeing them. They may be paying you a visit. So they're telling everybody, be prepared, you know, and if you own some headphones or earplugs, just know where they are because it's going to probably disturb some people because there are so many coming out together. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me close this. all right, y'all. Boy, it is so many things that are occurring on this earth. You hardly can keep up with everything. But y'all going to have to tell me what you think about this video. And let me know if you are in one of the areas that you saw on the map. I am. And I know many of you will probably see and hear these things as well. You know? And it's really a good learning experience for your children, especially because, you know, kids don't really see these that often because, you know, if, especially if they're really young, it can be a real learning experience. And some people do eat these. I remember one year when I was in elementary school, one of my teachers roasted them and they were snacking on them like they were candy. And was offering them. I didn't eat it. You know, I'm just not accustomed to eating any type of things like this. So I would not eat it. But a couple of the other kids in the class tried them and they said they taste like peanut butter. And the teacher said that as well. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.